Good morning, this is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, February the 9th, 2011. It's Year 1, Epiphany 5, and Week 5 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 81, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15 to 21, and the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 through 79. <clears throat> Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, raise a song and sound the timbrel. Alleluia. Psalm 81. Ring out your joy to God our strength and shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the full moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob, imposed as a law on Joseph's people when they went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if you would only heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am Yahweh, your God, who brought you out from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes and turn my hand against their enemies. Yahweh's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjugation would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Raise a song and sound the timbrel. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 59, verse, beginning at verse 15. Yahweh looks on with displeasure, for there is no justice. The Holy One saw that aid was not forthcoming and was appalled that no one intervened. So God's own might brought about victory, supported by the divine hunger for justice. Wearing the breastplate of integrity and the helmet of liberation, Yahweh wears the clothing of vengeance and is strapped in zeal like a cloak. They will pay according to their deeds, wrath in payment to the adversaries, retribution in payment to foes, the coastlands will get their due. Those in the west will fear the name of Yahweh, and those in the east God's glory. For God will come like a flood swollen river, driven forward by the spirit of Yahweh. The Redeemer will come to Zion, to those of Leah, Rachel, and Jacob, who repent of their rebellion, says Yahweh. This for my part is the covenant I make with them, my spirit will be upon you, and my words, which I have put in your mouth, will not depart from your mouth or the mouths of your children, or the mouths of your children's children, says Yahweh, now and for all time. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love. For Joe and Tom and Alan and for all of our church leaders and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Jesus, that our divisions may cease and all may be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in the whole world, <clears throat> that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation. For the poor, the persecuted, 
the sick, especially Stephen Michael, for all who suffered, for refugees and prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, for the unemployed, especially for Brian and for Robert, and for the grief-stricken, especially for Joe and for Dan. For Lloyd and Louise, and Sarah and Howard, William and Lloyd, and Howard and Stephen, and Margaret and Dwight, for Dan and Joanne and Hugh, and Chuck and Tom, and Wayne and Martin, and Kevin and Philip, for David and Ramon and Joseph Benedict, and Miriam Suzanne, Walter Arthur, Robert Patrick, Stephen Edward, and David, and for all who have died in the communion of your church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, especially Francis and Claire, they may have the rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. For the mercy of God community, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, <clears throat> Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian, and for all of the Mercy of God Associates, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you've raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for you have come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old, you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You have raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> 